up guys welcome to the channel here's number three part three of trying to get the cases welded some refer to it as brazing well I've done my research I think and uh, the reason why I couldn't get it to bond to the metal cast aluminum actually was because I wasn't getting this hot enough so guess what I'm doing to get it even hotter with the help of a grill Captain Cook not a sponsored video well look what's baking there you have it warming it up I actually already gave it a try and it actually melted on so I already gave it a little coating all around the surfaces then I went and I bent me a piece of metal right there which is a key that you get when you assemble furniture. When you buy uh, a box furniture and you have to assemble it, well, there it is. So basically I bent it out, clamped it, so that way I can fill it up and do less grinding on the inner side. Well, let's give it a shot. I'll brace it up, stand it up a little bit so that thing won't leak because it's starts to leak down because I believe the melting point on these rods are about roughly about 700 I think so and this is about 1300 so uh, we'll hopefully make it work and I believe we're getting somewhere and uh, yeah I'll be making this one also this one's a lot smaller than that one And uh, yeah, basically I got my grill cooking. Tools I needed, a little hammer. Um, I'm gonna be adding more heat with this map torch and I'll be using some of these little tools and of course, gloves. And uh, that'd be it. Here it is guys. I put it all on, on a little stand that I made in a machine shop a while back and uh, there you have it this is how I'm going to set it up and have room to add some good weld so that way it would stick to it and won't flow anywhere just where I need it and I'll be adding some of that map torch and let's get to it Well, here it is. I believe it is solid to it. Now we'll just have to do some grinding on the top side. And the inside is actually pretty good. We'll get started on the second one. Basically, I'm gonna heat it up. Preheat it on my close the lid. Then I'll set it up the way I'm gonna weld it. I'm gonna put the clamp on here, which is, this is what I used. All right, I'll be back when all of you are ready.
All right, guys. So basically, I preheated it without this thing on, this little bracket shield support. And um, I heated it up to a you know, melting point and I added some of that rod all the way around and on the inside, made sure it bonded to this actual cast steel. And once it did that, I stopped because everything dripped down because there's no really other way to get to it. So now I put that shield, now I'll stand it up on the stand like I did with the previous one and I'll do the full filling of that broken spot and uh, we'll be back in a few seconds. All right guys, here it is standing, supported. All right guys, here you have it. Seems like this one worked a lot better. I guess once you learn a little bit of tricks and tips, it gets better. So let's take this bracket off. Yeah, I like this. If I get my camera to ever focus, not the best camera. Let's turn it on. Well, just a little bit of grinding on here. I don't think I'm gonna grind any on this side. I'll leave that little bunch on there. So that way I don't weaken it. It won't hurt any on this side and I'll leave it on this side also. I'll just clean up the surface and lap the surface and make sure it's good. Yeah, here's some drip splatter right here. See, it just comes right off. Basically when you wanna do something like this on a engine case or a motor, you wanna remove all the plastic seals, bushings, bearings. Um, I'll be replacing all these bearings and uh, I'll be putting new seals and everything like that. So, there you guys have it. This is the second case. I need to sand this one down. Well, here's basically a finished part. Ready to go. Yeah, this stuff really works. Once you get the heat right, you get the whole part warmed up. Basically, I'm not sure what the grill gets it up to. I guess I'm guessing 400 degrees. And then when you add the torch, using the map gas, it gives it a significant amount of heat just to that area, but it doesn't draw the heat to the other parts of the area as much. So, like I said, I added the first layer all around the, the aluminum casting, so that way when I add the full amount of rod to fill up the gap, it bonds pretty good. And uh, brazes, welds, whatever you people call it. So. Uh, it seems like it's working pretty good because it actually bonded and I've tried actually hammering it a little bit and it's it sounds very uh, stout and uh, like it's bonded. This one also pretty good. Well here you guys have it. Only thing I got left to do is lap it and we'll be ready to go. If you like this video, subscribe. Let me know what else you would like to see.
when I repair something like this. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Comment below. Visit my channel. View my other videos. I'll be having some more videos coming up about that red blaster. So stay tuned. Alright guys, peace.